An option to overclock the ARM CPU is officially coming to Mr. The overclock changes have already been merged into main, but an official release is not out yet. What is possible with an overclock? Overclocking should help with hybrid emulation efforts on the AO486 and Amiga cores. It could also slightly reduce game loading times on some cores. There's increased mump performance. At 1.2 GHz, users testing the kernel have reported that it's very usable depending on the complexity of the music. An underclock option will also be included. That seems to save an estimated 140 milliwatts and doesn't affect many cores performance. If you don't feel comfortable overclocking the CPU, don't worry, this feature will be disabled by default. For me personally, I don't see myself using the overclock, and if I were to use it, it would most likely be for a feature that would significantly improve the AO486 core. The PlayStation Core has been officially updated with a new release. There are three new main features, some fixes, and also accuracy improvements. The features that Robert, the developer, has been posting about since the last release are now finally official. This includes bilinear filtering. What this does is smooth out the textures for games. The feature is smart enough to not apply the filtering to 2D elements like the heads up displays and scores. You can also adjust the intensity of the blur in case there is too much blur in a game. The next new feature is 24-bit color rendering. This feature will make gradients a lot smoother by eliminating color banding and dithering. The last new feature added is the ability to use 8 megabytes of RAM. This is only helpful for homebrew software that can use that much RAM. Other changes involve a whole host of fixes and accuracy improvements to make the core better. Coming in a later release is a 480i to 480p hack to get rid of combing artifacts in some games. If you look at the screenshot below, you can really notice the combing on the edges of the polygons on the left side of the image. And the combing is gone on the right side. This feature can be tested if you install a test build available on the Mr. FPGA Discord. The developer also has a new technical article on Patreon detailing the recent DMA changes. Give it a read if you like techie stuff and want to support the developer. Anton Gale has given us some more updates on the Exerion Arcade Core. Thanks to the core's beta tester, the sound is playing correctly, background issues have been fixed, and dip switch settings have been implemented. The core is at a point that it's ready for a public release. Anton Gale plans to release the core and its source code on November 11th. The official Mr. FPGA downloader has reached version 1.6. The big features included in this release are up to a 2.5 times speed increase in updates. This will also improve the unofficial update all script. There is also a new PC launcher. If you don't know what PC launcher is, this is a Python script that can be run on a PC, Mac, or Linux machine and upgrade a Mr. install right from the computer. This is useful for those who have Mr. setups not connected to the internet. You just take the SD card out of your Mr. and connect it to your PC. Copy the script to a specific location on the SD card and run the script. For full instructions, check out the PC Launcher's GitHub page. Also, if you want the complete details on what's new for the downloader, check out the Epsilon's Patreon post regarding this release. SRG320 has posted an update to the Saturn Core. The new updates are, for the CPU, interrupts were fixed which helps House of the Dead. FRT status flag clear was fixed. This fixes a Daytona USA hang. For the SEU, Interrupts logic was reworked, which helps Shinobi Legion and Rayman. There's a fix for unsupported addresses and modes for DMA. This helps MechWarrior 2, Spot Goes to Hollywood, and RoboPit. For the SCSP, which is the Saturn sound processor, there was a pitch calculation fix. This affects Herx Adventure. There's a monitor register fix that affects Hardcore 4x4, and Soundstack Write was fixed. The Saturn's video display processor had fixes that help Quake and MechWarrior 2. The SMPC had a fix that helps NBA Action 98 and access to cartridge area was fixed which helps Die Hard Trilogy. Remember, there are no official releases for this core. However, users have compiled the source code so we can try out the core ourselves. Expect a lot of issues as this core is still under heavy development. I'll provide links to the downloads in the description. For the PCXT core, a driver for Microsoft Mouse via CT Mouse 1.9 was added. Quick start instructions were added into the README thanks to JS Molina. 
The on-screen display was reworked and is in line with all other Mr. Cores that have floppy and hard disk options. This was thanks to NewsD. The simulated composite video module was improved to support up to 1000 colors. This was thanks to Mills. There is now a DOS program called XTCTL that can configure the core before you run a game. For example, you can set the core's clock speed, enables the simulated composite mode right before running a game. There was a Tandy Sound fix, and along with that, Tandy Sound was upgraded to use Hotego's JT89 core. This was thanks to Katune san and Hotego. The Outrun core is finally at a point where it's ready for a beta test release, and things are in preparation for that release. Hotego usually releases his cores on a Friday, so we will most likely see the release next Friday. There are still some details to improve on the core, but there are no showstoppers. Note that Hotego releases all his beta cores to Patreon subscribers first. As soon as they are stable enough, he then releases them to the public. Another miscellaneous Mr. Fixes and updates are, for the rising arcade core, the sprite engine was made more stable. For the x68000 core, there's a DMA error flag fix thanks to Pew and Makigumo. For the Commodore 16 core, Ted was fixed thanks to Phantom Brain M. For the ZX Spectrum, Vectrex, Vector 06C, VIG-20, X68000, and C16 cores, their frameworks were updated. For the Joust 2 arcade core, music and speech soundboard was added thanks to DAR FPGA. And for the Andra SPO1A6 core, Andra Melodic was added. That's it for other updates. Please also try to support Sorge, the maintainer of the Mr. FPGA project, and other Mr. developers and contributors on support platforms such as Patreon and Ko-fi. Your hard work allows us to enjoy this amazing project. And now for the analog pocket news. The PC Engine Core has a new release, which is version 0.2.0. This release brings several fixes and also improved video support. Planned for future releases is support for Super Graphics and the CD expansion. Marcus Jordan has released a core for the Watara Supervision. This was a budget handle that competed with the Game Boy but had nowhere near the developer support or success as the Game Boy. A core for Cave Shooter's Battle Garega, Sorcerer Striker, and Kingdom Grand Prix was released by developer Pramod. However, high score saving is not yet available on Garega, but it will be added along with support for other games like Bakraid and Batrider. And finally, Hotego is preparing a release for Outrun on the Analog Pocket. Expect the core this Friday, which is when he usually releases his core but it will most likely only be available to his Patreon subscribers. But once it's stable enough, it will be released to the public. So that's it for this episode. I provided links to all my sources in the description. Make sure you also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in blog form and to get some more retro-related content. And if possible, support them on Patreon too. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and it's bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time.